This movie shows an impacted lower wisdom tooth. In the soft tissue removal situation, we raise the flap and usually elevate the tooth without removing any bone. The flap is repositioned and sutured into place. The sutures dissolve and the area heals. This movie shows an impacted lower wisdom tooth. In a partial bony removal situation, we first raise a flap followed by some bone removal to gain access to the tooth. The tooth can then be removed with elevators. A bone substitute can be placed in the socket to aid in healing. The flap is repositioned and sutured into place. The sutures dissolve and the area heals. This movie shows an impacted lower wisdom tooth. In a full bony removal situation, we first raise a flap. Since the tooth is completely covered with bone, significant bone is removed to gain access to the tooth. Then we section the tooth. The tooth sections can then be removed with elevators. A bone substitute can be placed in the socket to aid in healing. The flap is repositioned and sutured into place. The sutures dissolve and the area heals. This movie shows an impacted wisdom tooth that causes inflammation. Since there is not enough room in the mouth for full eruption, the gum tissue covers part of the tooth and is raised. In addition to inflammation from food impaction in the pocketing, this tissue may be traumatized by the upper tooth. It can swell and cause great pain. Treatment starts with antibiotics and getting the tissues to settle down, followed by the extraction of the wisdom tooth. Once the tooth is gone, the gums recede back to normal. If the upper wisdom tooth does not touch a lower tooth, then it should also be removed. It will over-erupt, causing biting problems. It will also cause gingival inflammation due to tissue trauma. Removing it at the same time prevents this complication and the patient has only one surgical appointment. If teeth are crooked, orthodontic treatment such as braces can be used to make them straight again. The last tooth to erupt in the mouth is the wisdom tooth. If there is not enough room for it to erupt, it will put pressure on the teeth and may cause the teeth to become crooked again. Here we see how an impacted wisdom tooth can cause an infection under the soft tissues. The tooth may erupt in a horizontal fashion and stop as it reaches the last tooth. If the surface is broken, the bacteria can move below the tissues and cause an infection, which can result in pain and swelling. This often comes and goes until the tooth is removed. This movie shows the importance of removing wisdom teeth before they cause trouble. Sometimes, as the tooth erupts horizontally, it may be stopped by the molar ahead of it. Here we see in the cross section that it can continue to erupt and resorb the tooth ahead of it. This in turn may cause pulpal damage in addition to completely destroying the root. Now both the wisdom tooth as well as the tooth ahead of it will need to be removed. Furthermore, the opposing tooth to the one lost will over-erupt and may need extraction.